What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here and we are back with the Hot 5 Top KDP new releases of the week and I think you guys are going to be in for a real treat because despite the fact that we've been doing this every single week for the entire year almost, guess what? There are still brand new ideas every single day and the ideas today are fire. So I'm super fired up for this video. I hope you're fired up. Let's do this. All right, so here we are on my screen share and we are in the Amazon hot new releases. And this time around, as usual, we're gonna still jump into books, but we're gonna first comb children's books in general. Now, we haven't done this in a while. We did a couple different things the last couple times, but this time around, we're gonna just jump back into children's books and see what's pumping, right? We wanna see what's pumping. We know June 19th is around the corner. Thank you so much for whoever educated me on that. I've got no idea. I pay no attention whatsoever to what's going on in the outside world. I literally, I do not. It's, it's pretty sad actually, and I'm not very proud of it. So thank you for reminding me of what that is. Now here we've got one that's interesting. It's called Tabitha and Fritz. It's an elephant and a cat. What an unusual friendship, very unusual book, but looks like it's working as it is ranked number five in the top new releases. And I'm going to keep going down. We got the accidental family. And here's another one, Hudson and Tallulah. And it's about a dog and a cat that takes sides. Now, here's the interesting thing that I've noticed thus far. And I think this is worth a call out. And that is unusual friends, dogs, cats, elephants, cats, and then naming them again with the big theme, which is branding. I want to reiterate that. I know I sound like a broken record, but when you brand things, people remember. In this case, it's a set of unusual friends. Who would think a dog and a cat would be good friends, right? Although it does usually happen in the real world, in the kids book world and on this fantasy kind of crap, it doesn't happen that often. Same thing with an elephant and a cat. What opportunity would they get to be able to become friends, yet they both work? And I really think it's because they named the characters. People recognize the character. And we'll see that as a theme throughout the entire countdown. Because one thing that I do know is the people that end up on these countdowns usually have a pretty decent brand. So I will point some out as we come along to them. But that's the first one that I noticed. This thank you teacher has been popping up everywhere. This is from a hungry caterpillar. Again, I'm not sure if it's teachers month, but I think that's worth a, a shout out like teachers everywhere. You should be buying them something apparently because there's a book that's in the top 100 about a teacher. So that tells me that it possibly is something having to do with teachers. So if you haven't created a book for teachers, that shit sells year round. How about Christmas gifts for teachers? How about just in general gifts for teachers at the end of the school year, at the beginning of the school year, if you want to be a brown noser and suck up to the teacher, fantastic way to get your kids potentially straight A scores without them having to perform right which is fantastic all right so let's keep going on and see what else we see here's Sammy the bird like I said Sammy can take a dump like he's doing right here he's right next to the toilet the creator is Sammy the bird must be watching this hot five because I talked about Sammy taking a dump in the toilet people would buy it and look what he's doing he's showing a turkey how to take a dump in a toilet. Like I couldn't even write this shit if you paid me to, it just happens. I talked about Sammy taking a dump. I bet you during the summer, Sammy will be at the beach. He'll be doing who knows what surfing, all sorts of crap. And here he is taking a dump with the turkey and it's on the hot five. And the reason it's working is because Sammy has a brand. So. Sammy lovers everywhere will pay for him to do pretty much anything. The guy's taking a dump with the turkey. Let me remind you about that. All right, if we keep going, here's another one for Juneteenth, which is called Stamped. And then we've got, again, the ugly books that have words on them that are quite funny. Here's this one, Welcome to Bikeville. Kind of reminds me of a biker thing. And here it is, Little Biker Crew or something to that effect. Can't read very well. You guys know I'm blind as a bat. And that's a fantastic title for a book, actually. Uh, it could be about a young kid's grandma, blind as a bat. <laughs> yes, I am comparing myself to a grandma. So you guys heard it here first. I will make fun of myself if it means benefiting from it, right? All right, so let's see if I see anything else that stands out to me. This is a really big movie right now. I think on Netflix, I've seen it, Shadow and Bone, uh, which I haven't even actually seen. It's a series, it's not a movie. Here's again, more words on a book cover that do real well. Here's Sammy. Now Sammy wakes up on the wrong side of the bed. So not only is Sammy happily showing a turkey how to take a dump, but he's waking up on the wrong side of the bed, a very big grump. That's what I would imagine. But here he is doing everything. Nothing is off the table with Sammy. You basically see him live his whole life out. And here we got Bluey as well. And here was the pizza call. I made a call about this last time. Here's another book, Pizza with Everything on it. That one seems to be doing extremely well. And here's one that seems it's High School Musical, Best Nerds Forever. That kind of stands out. Uh, makes me interested to see if we see anything else about nerds and such because I've never seen that. Here's one about race cars. So we've already seen bikers and race cars. That could potentially be something, but I usually want to see a little bit more 
data on either one of the two, although they kind of are very much related. It's sort of like construction trucks. Kids love those. Kids love monster trucks. And we've seen a lot of books about both those subjects do extremely well. It's one of the similar things. So if you haven't done it, it's worth just taking a stab at it and seeing how well it performs. But if you're brand new, I wouldn't necessarily do it. This is for somebody that's been in the game for a while and can take some stabs at it. We don't really have no data to show that it absolutely is going to work. So your money better be put if you're brand new into another niche, which we know works. Here's a shady baby, which is very cute. Unicorn famous. Cat wad high five. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Gratitude and great looks like a journal. The Babysitter's Club, Ocean Animals. Here's another Mother's Day book, which we pretty much have been seeing quite normally on the countdown. And here's a dork diary. So again, we've seen nerds, we've seen dorks. So this is another great niche that apparently parents are buying for their children. So nerds or dorks are fire right now. I see it already. I see two. Two tells me that there's a pattern forming. And so you definitely want to test the waters out. Perhaps it could be the book of challenging puzzles that only nerds can solve. Something to that extent, again, we talked about puzzles for dumb kids, but apparently puzzles for smart kids sell a lot better because at the end of the day, parents didn't want to buy kids books if they say anything that they're dumb. You know, they want to think that their child is the smartest child in the world. And so let's keep going. Here's a preschool activity book. And I'm not really seeing too much other than that. So now that we've seen a broad general view of children's books, let's jump in deeper into some of these individual categories. Here's one about summer. And we've talked about summer quite a bit. And here's a great one. I love this one without even calling or seeing additional proof that it works. This is called spy school. What kid has not wanted to be a spy. I know I wanted to be a spy when I was young and I'm pretty sure almost every kid in America wants to. So I've not seen a spy activity book for kids and I think that would be ingenious and I think that would sell well because it will make kids feel like they're spies. And I think that is a sexy thing for kids. They want to feel like they're spies. They want to feel like they could be James Bond. And although it seems just out of this word for parents to think that that would happen. Like think back when you were a kid, didn't you want to be a spy? I mean, I know I did. So that is definitely a good one. I would certainly try something like that out. I think it's fantastic. Here's one about new girl and positive behavior activities for kids, which is kind of interesting. I would like to see more about that. And then I would possibly even talk about that one. Here's mom. Sorry about your other children. At least you have me. We've seen that previously, but other than that, let's jump into children's activity books. And the usual will happen when we jump into these, which is we're going to see a lot of repetition, obviously, especially in the top 20 or so. These are all books that we already saw that were in the overall top 100 in children's books. But now we'll start getting into some additional books that we might not have seen otherwise. We see Bluey over there. He's always on the countdown. We saw hair twins in one of the last videos that we did. And we've seen the Cardboard Kingdom. We've seen a lot of these ones. Escape the, from a video game is kind of interesting. Uh, so I'm going to keep moving along. Here's 100 Best Brain Teasers. We talked about flowers in the past. And here's Dragon Boy. So they're combining the hot topic of dragon with the boy. And I was creating this boy that has a dragon costume and he's traveling around with a dragon. That's very cute. That obviously worked extremely well if it's in the top 104 new releases and activities and such. And then I'm just looking through here. I don't really see anything that is out of the ordinary that we've not seen previously. We saw mermaids and we talked about portraying success for both girls and boys. That is always important. Here's a book about success. Here's pink is for boys. We saw that in the past. I really like this one a lot right here. We got a Mother's Day one, which is great. But this one, we've talked about dinosaurs and dinosaurs being hot, but this one specifically labels them to be their first dinosaur. So this is the first introduction for a child with dinosaurs. So you could, you could almost do this for any type of animal, any breed of dog, anything to that effect. And parents would go bananas because it clearly calls out a first dinosaur for a very young child. So this is excellent. This is selling extremely well. It's a very plain cover, yet it's cute. It's black and white. It's a dinosaur on it that looks like a kid drew it. And this one's hot. It's 36,000 in books, which means it's selling well. So first, anything's clearly stating out. This is the child's first book. So very interesting. I like the way they did that. And here's another spy one. So, I mean, I, was, I knew it was on to something when I saw the first spy one, but here's a second one that further cements the fact that that is a fantastic idea. So if you have not done a spy book, I certainly would do that. And I would try to make it just really fun. Like this has a really fun cover. It makes me feel like I'm gonna be a spy. It makes me feel like I'm gonna solve some mysteries and shit like that. And that makes kids crazy. So I obviously like that one. I sometimes am told that I act like a child. So that should work really well. Now here's another one that I love. We've talked about personalizing things and fill in books 
books, but this one is like fill in your own cover. So fill in your own cover is ingenious. You could do that for so many different ideas. This one works with bugs and weird types of shit like this funny looking rat. I don't even know what he looks like. He's just the weirdest looking guy. I don't know if this is a seahorse or you know, I guess it's a seahorse. I don't even want to say what I think it is, but it's very interesting. And I think that this fill in your own cover is pretty ingenious. It's 37,000 in books. So it's obviously working really well. And then it's 1299. So you might wonder, well, Liz, how would we fill in our own cover with a KDP book? Well, you, you put all sorts of little crap around it like this. And then the front and in the center, you just leave it blank and you allow them to want to draw on it. So maybe on the first cover page, you put the blank thing that they'll stick on there and you make it a whole adventure and a whole activity so that the book becomes more interactive as opposed to just like, you know, boring old coloring and all that crap. So, all right, let's see if we find anything else. We got again, wilderness and flowers and animal friends. And we've talked about all that stuff, how to draw a little bit of everything. That's for the the typical doodler who just likes to draw all sorts of crap. Now, this one's very plain, it's very bland, but look at this, 44,000 in books, 551 review. Words, I want my toddler to know everyday necessary life words coloring books. It's like so strange, you can barely even read it and it's not just because I'm a blind bat. It's just, it's very unreadable, but yet it did well. And the title is just awkward and so long, but it still worked out. I can't imagine why, but I would be willing to try this out with a couple other different things and see how it works. Perhaps a better cover, but maybe it's just that title that's like so long and awkward and it's straight to the damn point that people just buy it. I don't know. It just stands out to me. Uh, here's Cinco de Mayo, which incidentally, it's Cinco de Mayo, which is a great excuse for us to go get shit faced and drink a lot. So I will be doing that tonight. So we might not expect a video tomorrow, but at least somebody was kind enough to remember Nana on Mother's Day. So don't forget your Nana. If you do not do books for Nana or Grandma, make sure you add those. I will remind you by placing it on the countdown. So books for grandma do extremely well just as books for mom do. So if you've left out your grandma, shame on you, shame on you, shame on you. All right, let's finish this off. I don't really see too much else that's popping up. Pick your own quests. We talked about these pick your own quests books before and that's it. So that is a wrap. Hopefully you enjoy this on happy Cinco de Mayo. I got to get ready to head out to the bars and I hope you guys have a safe and happy Cinco de Mayo. I will see you all next time. Questions and comments below. I probably won't get to them till tomorrow, but other than that, have a great day.